Vermont is poised to be New England's leader in renewable energy, setting forth a goal of 55 percent of its energy to be from renewable energy sources by 2017. I'm Eric Clements for Comcast Newsmakers at Vermont College of Fine Arts in Montpelier. President and CEO of Green Mountain Power, Mary Powell, is my guest. Welcome, Mary. Nice to be here. Thank you for Good having me. Good to have you here. What does innovation mean to Green Mountain Power? Oh my goodness. Really for us it means about getting better for our customers tomorrow than we are today. It's about continuing to think of ways that we can innovate to give customers what they want, which is affordable, green uh, energy that makes their lives uh, you know, more productive and uh, makes them feel like they're getting good value and moving in, a, in the right direction. And how are you innovating to improve customers' lives? We're innovating every single day. The huge way that we're innovating now is really in creating what we're calling uh, the energy company of the future, okay. the energy city of the future in Rutland, Vermont, and the energy homes and businesses of the future. And simply that is uh, what I call an extreme energy makeover of homes and businesses and a city to show that we can dramatically reduce uh, dependence on fossil fuels and provide Vermonters that are in those homes, businesses, and in that city with a much more affordable affordable path forward that is also much more environmentally strong than what they have today. Tell us how you can use innovation to create more resilient communities. This is a huge part of what we're doing with the yeah. energy city of the future. It is about creating, in this case, we're creating a microgrid which is based on this uh, really incredible innovation around using solar and battery storage to connect a part of the city so that we can keep it operating even during times of catastrophic weather events. Yeah. It's also leveraging technology to connect homes and businesses as a part of that interactive grid so that we're really maximizing the use of energy in a very affordable way. Uh, we also are doing all of this because let me just really make a point about this. We really believe in doing everything we can to reduce cost. So we're doing all of this in innovation while we're reducing rates. So we actually had a 2.4 percent rate decrease for customers wow. while we're innovating, while the rest of New England went up on average by about 9 percent in the last year. All right, that's good to know. How does all this impact the environment and the economy? You touched a little bit on the economy. I'm yeah, sure I mean, the, the, the really beautiful part of the work that we're doing, and again, we're just demonstrating demonstrating it in Rutland and then we're going to fast follow across the rest of the state is that what we're showing is by zero targeting and area geo targeting and creating the energy city of the future we've attracted a number of businesses the occupancy rate of Rutland went from about 75 percent to 95 percent in the downtown we've attracted businesses and other strategic partners around innovation so it really is the triple bottom line of the environment uh, socioeconomic well-being and and you know in the basic economy. Are you finding that the general public, your customer base, is becoming more receptive to clean energy and, and paying more attention to our extreme use of fossil fuels up to this point? Absolutely. I think, in fact, Vermont's been a leader in caring about that. We've, we're obsessed with our customers. We, we uh, survey them all the time. And what they have told us consistently for years is they care about the environment, they care about moving forward in a significant way towards renewable energy, but they care about cost. So, so we really were set on innovating around how we can break that old paradigm uh, you know, from a decade ago that you either could be high cost and green or low cost and dirty when it comes to energy. And we're, we're innovating and showing, nope, you can actually move in an environmentally strong way, but do it in a highly cost effective way that builds more sustainable communities. How does Green Mountain Power stay on the cutting edge of innovation? Well, you know, I really think we're small. We're actually the second smallest investor-owned utility in the country, right? Okay. So our strategic position is we are really fast implementers. So we're not the ones that are going to create a huge R&D unit with millions of dollars to figure out what that next technology is. What we do is we partner with those who are doing those exciting next technologies, and we, we're, the fast, we're the fast implementers. We're the ones that don't put up a bunch of roadblocks saying why it can't happen. We're the ones that tear down those roadblocks and say how it can happen. Mary Powell, Green Mountain Power, thanks so much for being with us. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for having me. All right, and thank you for watching this edition of Comcast Newsmakers. I'm Eric Clemens, and we'll see you next time.